Alright, so we got the cool bathtub on this one. We got your normal shower setting, and we got the club setting. Just a little bit of rot going on here. All the way through. On a 76, 1400 square foot house, we got one little one right there. Got a pretty good one right there and it radiates up two different ways and then got another good one right there all within about 12 feet of each other so just to add to our previous video No closed closet door. Drags a little bit, but man. Actually, a couple two by sixes sister together for the post for this balcony and then they covered it with plywood to make it look like a post. That was actually more work than just putting a post in there. Strange. I always check the dryer plug if it's, it's wired properly. Another brown. Doesn't look bad. Nothing there. That's a bad sign. Oh, I bet that's 240. <laughs> Not good. Not even doing a shower pan test. <laughs> Just shooting the side of the walls. All right, so we're in a 2020 crawl space. It's actually a pretty awesome crawl space. It's about six feet tall, so I can walk under here. We've got a few good finds on this new build. First, uh, came in the crawl space right there, turned left, and we already have a pretty good sized crack going through the cinder block all the way down to the vent. Uh, walking over here, we got a drain line that sloped upwards right there. It's not properly sloped. Let's see what else do we have. We get some wind straps that are not properly fastened. That one only has one nail in it. Let's see. Here's a good one. This pier. Beam is not contacting the pier. Got a gap there. Uh, here's a real good one. Your main drain line coming in, and it's going from a bigger pipe. Looks like a four inch. And it's downsized to a three inch on the main stack. So that's gonna probably cause some issues. Walking over here, have another pier that's not contacting the beam. Beautiful. We have a notched floor joist. Looks like it's notched too much. And on the front side of the house, on the outside, we have really high mulch. And you can see the water, it's rained here a bunch the past few days, all the water coming through. You can see all the efflorescence on the brick. Some more water coming through. And why don't we just go ahead and combine water entering the crawl space with a live wire sitting on the ground. Beautiful. Not bad for a brand new house.
So two things that don't mix well with the foundation is poor drainage, water, and tree roots. A giant tree, biggest tree root I've ever seen. It goes all the way across the yard, right to this little archway. You can see that the gutter is pouring water right there on the archway. So not only is it affecting this front area, you got this giant crack and shift. The archway is shifting. It's cracked all the way through both sides. The foundation. Crack through the foundation. Let's go into the garage. It's cracked all the way through. All the way to the other side. So the crack of the sheetrock. All the way to the other side. Got some more poor drainage and low area where water's been dumping off right here. And crack through. All the way to the other side. Rut row. Uh, zone three sprinklers low pressure it's barely shooting any water the culprit Damaged drip line underneath the grass. It's a fishbowl window. What we got two fishbowl windows. Heater, old water heater. Apparently, only really tall people are allowed to change the temperature of this house. It's way up next to the ceiling. I have to go get my ladder to change the temp. Leaking <coughs> cast iron. Got the subfloor all rotted. It's leaking down right onto the water heater. You. Some heavy foliage. Some previous termite damage. Look at that beautiful. That could be termite.
Who wants a termite? Yay! I don't know if you guys can see this or not inside this garage, but I won't be going in there. Like a million bees. We're gonna run the sprinkler system. Let's check out the box. Oh, well. So we got a pretty decent looking fireplace. The roof's been freshly painted. The walls have been freshly painted. But if you look closely on the side, you see some water streaks coming down the brick. And no water stand on this back wall, but interestingly, we open up this cabinet. And we got water damage in the corner and some streaks. Trying to hide it. <laughs> 